Hey what's going on everyone, in this video let's take a quick look at how to build an amazing landing page using 3JS and I've been making a 3JS course right now so if you want to enroll that then feel free to do that because we'll be learning from basics to advanced level okay so you'll be learning how to you know how to import your 3d model into the scene and you'll be learning how to animate that 3d model inside the you know inside your web browser you know the technology is improving right now like we got the 5g's in which we can import and play our game inside the web browser so why shouldn't we learn the 3g's in order to actually build the games and also build some amazing websites so that's why i'm making the 3g's course so if you want to enroll that then uh, all the links in the description just uh, feel free to do that and uh, yeah now let's see how to import my 3d model into my scene and uh, you know we'll be learning how to animate that while scrolling okay so here i got the 3d model you know it's a uh, bathroom but you know that's okay so we'll be using this 3d model in order to actually import uh, you know in order to actually import this into a scene and let's animate the page using this uh, 3d model okay and similarly we're going to be using an environment map so you can find the environment map right in this page which is polyheaven.com and you can download this environment map right here okay just uh, feel free to go with the lower version because we'll be getting the lower mb okay so just download this which is uh, 1.51 mb that's fine just click on download and download this environment map once you're done with that you can find the environment map and my model is placed right inside the static folder and you can see the you know you can see the webpack version over here so if you don't know how to build this webpack version just follow up the official documentation and uh, yeah you'll learn how to build this okay so i'm using the standard webpack version so here i got the index.html and uh, we've been using the you know we have been using the title and we have declared some span ids which is scroll progress and as well as we had declared some uh, uh, main elements like the h1 h2 tags and uh, we had declared some sections so now you can see that right so you can actually change this as well okay but that's fine and also inside css i just you know fix that margins and all those stuff so if you don't know how to do that then uh, you know enroll in our 3js course so that you'll learn more about that all right now that's being said let's get back to our code which is script.js so here you know i had already made a basic scene and also i had imported the gltf and draco loaders similarly i had imported all the camera renderer and the add event listeners and also i had imported the states over here in order to actually monitor our frames per second okay and also i had used an animate function in order to actually animate that 3d model okay that's fine now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be importing our 3d model right here which is going to be gldf loader dot load let's load that thing first okay you know we don't need to actually specify like this because the static folder is in production version so we don't need to actually specify that like this instead what we're gonna do is it we're gonna be importing that directly so which is going to be model dot glp all right that's being said let's create a callback function which is going to be gldf all right so here I'll just create a callback function over here and here what I'll do is it, I'll just add that model into my scene which is going to be model and here I'll just add that into my scene which is going to be gldf.scene and now what I'm going to do is it, I'll just set that position first okay so this is going to be uh, model dot position you know let's set that at the center which is going to be 0 0 0 okay now let's add that into a scene which is going to be scene dot add let's add the model into a scene all right now we can see our model but you know it's too enlarged to actually see that and note that we are not using the orbit controls over here so we can actually rotate that instead what we're going to do is that we're going to be changing this position and also we're going to be adjusting that scale and rotation as well so now what i'll do is it i'll just copy this out and i'll just paste that over here and now what i'll do is it, i'll just change this to scale similarly i'll just change this to rotation all right now what i'll do is it i'll just set the scale value to something like one yeah that's fine and uh, you can uh, rotate that and now what i'll do is it i'll just set the position so here in y axis i'll just change that to minus one and in z axis i'll just change that to minus two now we should see that uh, scene like we should see that model over here yeah now we can see that model which is pretty cool right all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be loading our environment map into this model that's pretty simple 
here what i lose it i'll just add that which is going to be scene dot environment let's add that which is going to be new rgb loader right let's import that rgb loader so i'll just copy that out and right here i'll just import that this is going to be import rgb loader let's import that from the 3js right now we had imported the rgb loader and we, we're going to be using this rgb loader in order to actually load our environment map so i'll just use that rgb loader in order to actually load our environment map so let's load that environment map from our static folder which is going to be env dot hdr okay now we need to map that environment into our 3d model that's pretty simple just uh, map that thing which is going to be environment dot mapping and let's map that inside the 3js which is going to be 3 dot equirectangular refraction mapping all right with the help of that we had uh, mapped that you know we had mapped the environment into our 3d model now we can see that the light is literally changed and also you can see the you know you can see the reflection so here but for now let's focus on the animation thing okay so now if i scroll this we can't see any animation now let's make that animation possible for that what we're going to do is we're going to be using an property called scroll way so we'll be using the scroll way you know in order to actually animate this page so here what i lose it uh, so here what i lose it i just add and scroll way over here I'll just set that scroll way which is going to be scroll y and here i'll just call that we do our scroll way all right now what i lose it i'll just add an add event listener to check whether my page is being scrolled or not okay so let's do that which is going to be window dot add event listener and we're going to be you know we're going to be checking on the scroll property and uh, we're going to be creating a callback function over here and right here what i lose it i'll just call this scroll by value over here and inside that I'll set that scroll by value, which is going to be window dot scroll by. Okay. All right. That's being said. Now let's use this scroll by property inside the animate function. Okay. So here inside animate function, we're going to be using that scroll by property. So let's actually do that. So what I'll lose it, I'll just change the camera position. Okay. So I'll just call by camera and I'll just change my position over here let's change that in the y axis so let's uh, call that word y and here what i lose it i'll just call that scroll by value over here which is going to be minus scroll y and uh, let's see how it works all right now you can see that the model is moving but it's moving in like too fast we don't actually need that and so, you know like we can see that the model is moving too fast and we don't actually need that we need to move that slowly so that we can see the animation thing so what i'll lose it i'll just use the height and width of this viewport okay so let's actually do that by selecting the height of this window which is going to be window dot inner height let's multiply that with the lowest number possible like i'll just multiply that with 0 0.09 or something so now we should see that animation thing okay now i got the 3d model and if i scroll that you can see the animation right like it's moving the y direction similarly i can add another direction so i'll just change this camera position to z as well to actually see that uh, even more cool animation stuff so i'll just change this to z and uh, yeah let's see how it works all right so now we got the 3d model and if i scroll this you can see that it's moving in this direction which is y direction and it's moving in z direction as well so now we got the you know we got the cool looking page over here which is a landing page so you can customize this text so here if i head over to the you know if i head over to the index html here you can see the stuffs right like we got the sections over here so you can change this to whatever you want but if you head back to the css you can see the canvas right just don't remove this if you remove this then the model won't load okay so here we just use a simple animation technique using scroll by property okay 
so if you want to learn more about the advanced animation technique like we can use an percentage over here in order to actually animate this 3d model which makes this scene more realistic like you know this page is one of the award winning sites right there like i'm just making this for one or five dollars only okay so if you want to learn more about this then enroll in this professional djs course and i'll catch you guys right there